Numbers chapter 29 On the first day of the seventh month hold a sacred assembly, and do not do any of your ordinary work. It is a day for you to sound the trumpets. As an aroma pleasing to the Lord, offer a burnt offering of one young bull, one ram, and seven male lambs a year old, all without defect. With the bull offer a grain offering of three-tenths of an ephah, of the finest flour mixed with olive oil, with the ram one-fifth, and with each of the seven lambs one-tenth. Include one male goat as a sin offering to make atonement for you. These are in addition to the monthly and daily burnt offerings with their grain offerings and drink offerings as specified. They are food offerings presented to the Lord, a pleasing aroma. On the tenth day of the seventh month, hold a sacred assembly. You must deny yourselves and do no work. Present as an aroma pleasing to the Lord a burnt offering of one young bull, one ram, and seven male lambs a year old, all without defect. With the bull offer a grain offering of three-tenths of an ephah, of the finest flour mixed with oil. With the ram, one-fifth, and with each of the seven lambs, one-tenth. Include one male goat as a sin offering, in addition to the sin offering for atonement, and the regular burnt offering with its grain offering and their drink offerings. On the fifteenth day of the seventh month, hold a sacred assembly, and do not do any ordinary work. Celebrate a festival to the Lord for seven days. Present as an aroma pleasing to the Lord a food offering consisting of a burnt offering of thirteen young bulls, two rams, and fourteen male lambs a year old, all without defect. With each of the thirteen bulls, Offer a grain offering of three-tenths of an ephah, of the finest flour mixed with oil. With each of the two rams, one-fifth, and with each of the fourteen lambs, one-tenth. Include one male goat as a sin offering, in addition to the regular burnt offering with its grain offering and drink offering. On the second day, offer twelve young bulls, two rams and fourteen male lambs a year old, all without defect. With the bulls, rams, and lambs, offer their grain offerings and drink offerings according to the number specified. Include one male goat as a sin offering, in addition to the regular burnt offering with its grain offering and their drink offerings. On the third day, offer eleven bulls, two rams, and fourteen male lambs a year old, all without defect. With the bulls, rams, and lambs, offer their grain offerings and drink offerings according to the number specified. Include one male goat as a sin offering, in addition to the regular burnt offering with its grain offering and drink offering. On the fourth day, offer ten bulls, two rams, and fourteen male lambs a year old, all without defect. With the bulls, rams, and lambs, Offer their grain offerings and drink offerings according to the number specified. Include one male goat as a sin offering, in addition to the regular burnt offering with its grain offering and drink offering. On the fifth day, offer nine bulls, two rams and fourteen male lambs a year old, all without defect. With the bulls, rams and lambs, offer their grain offerings and drink offerings according to the number specified. Include one male goat as a sin offering, in addition to the regular burnt offering with its grain offering and drink offering. On the sixth day, offer eight bulls, two rams, and fourteen male lambs a year old, all without defect. With the bulls, rams, and lambs, offer their grain offerings and drink offerings according to the number specified. Include one male goat as a sin offering, in addition to the regular burnt offering with its grain offering and drink offering. On the seventh day, offer seven bulls, two rams and fourteen male lambs a year old, all without defect. With the bulls, rams, and lambs, 
offer their grain offerings and drink offerings according to the number specified. Include one male goat as a sin offering, in addition to the regular burnt offering with its grain offering and drink offering. On the eighth day, hold a closing special assembly and do not do any of your ordinary work. Present as an aroma pleasing to the Lord a food offering consisting of a burnt offering of one bull, one ram, and seven male lambs a year old, all without defect. With the bull, the ram, and the lambs, offer their grain offerings and drink offerings according to the number specified. Include one male goat as a sin offering, in addition to the regular burnt offering with its grain offering and drink offering. In addition to what you vow and your free will offerings, offer these to the Lord at your appointed festivals, your burnt offerings, grain offerings, drink offerings, and fellowship offerings. Moses told the Israelites all that the Lord commanded him. Numbers chapter 30 Moses said to the heads of the tribes of Israel, This is what the Lord commands. When a man makes a vow to the Lord or takes an oath to bind himself by a pledge, he must not break his word, but must do everything he said. When a young woman, still living in her father's household, makes a vow to the Lord or binds herself by a pledge, and her father hears about her vow or pledge, but says nothing to her, then all her vows and every pledge by which she bound herself will stand. But if her father forbids her when he hears about it, none of her vows or the pledges by which she bound herself will stand. The Lord will release her because her father has forbidden her. If she marries after she makes a vow, or after her lips utter a rash promise by which she binds herself, and her husband hears about it but says nothing to her, then her vows or the pledges by which she bound herself will stand. But if her husband forbids her when he hears about it, he nullifies the vow that binds her, or the rash promise by which she binds herself, and the Lord will release her. Any vow or obligation taken by a widow or divorced woman will be binding on her. If a woman living with her husband makes a vow or binds herself by a pledge under oath, and her husband hears about it but says nothing to her and does not forbid her, then all her vows or the pledges by which she bound herself will stand. But if her husband nullifies them when he hears about them, then none of the vows or pledges that came from her lips will stand. Her husband has nullified them, and the Lord will release her. Her husband may confirm or nullify any vow she makes or any sworn pledge to deny herself. But if her husband says nothing to her about it from day to day, then he confirms all her vows or the pledges binding on her. He confirms them by saying nothing to her when he hears about them. If, however, he nullifies them some time after he hears about them, then he must bear the consequences of her wrongdoing. These are the regulations the Lord gave Moses concerning relationships between a man and his wife, and between a father and his young daughter still living at home. Mark chapter 13 As Jesus was leaving the temple, one of his disciples said to him, Look, teacher, what massive stones, what magnificent buildings! Do you see all these great buildings? replied Jesus. Not one stone here will be left on another. Everyone will be thrown down. As Jesus was sitting on the Mount of Olives opposite the temple, Peter, James, John, and Andrew asked him privately, Tell us, when will these things happen? And what will be the sign that they are all about to be fulfilled? Jesus said to them, Watch out that no one deceives you. Many will come in my name, claiming, I am he, and will deceive many. When you hear of wars and rumors of wars, do not be alarmed. Such things must happen, but the end is still to come. 
nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. There will be earthquakes in various places and famines. These are the beginning of birth pains. You must be on your guard. You will be handed over to the local councils and flogged in the synagogues. On account of me, you will stand before governors and kings as witnesses to them, and the gospel must first be preached to all nations. Whenever you are arrested and brought to trial, do not worry beforehand about what to say. Just say whatever is given you at the time, for it is not you speaking, but the Holy Spirit. Brother will betray brother to death, and a father his child. Children will rebel against their parents and have them put to death. Everyone will hate you because of me. But the one who stands firm to the end will be saved. When you see the abomination that causes desolation, standing where it does not belong, let the reader understand. Then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains. Let no one on the housetop go down or enter the house to take anything out. Let no one in the field go back to get their cloak. How dreadful it will be in those days for pregnant women and nursing mothers. Pray that this will not take place in winter, because those will be the days of distress, unequaled from the beginning, when God created the world until now, and never to be equaled again. If the Lord had not cut short those days, no one would survive. But for the sake of the elect whom he has chosen, he has shortened them. At that time, if anyone says to you, Look, here is the Messiah, or Look, there he is, do not believe it. For false messiahs and false prophets will appear and perform signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elect. So be on your guard. I have told you everything in advance. But in those days, following that distress, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light. The stars will fall from the sky and the heavenly bodies will be shaken. At that time, people will see the Son of Man coming in clouds with great power and glory, and he will send his angels and gather his elect from the four winds from the ends of the earth to the ends of the heavens. Now learn this lesson from the fig tree. As soon as its twigs get tender and its leaves come out, you know that summer is near. Even so, when you see these things happening, you know that it is near, right at the door. Truly, I tell you, this generation will certainly not pass away until all these things have happened. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. But about that day or hour, no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. Be on guard. Be alert. You do not know when that time will come. It's like a man going away. He leaves his house and puts his servants in charge, each with their assigned task, and tells the one at the door to keep watch. Therefore, keep watch, because you do not know when the owner of the house will come back, whether in the evening or at midnight, or when the cock crows, or at dawn. If he comes suddenly, do not let him find you sleeping. What I say to you, I say to everyone. Watch. Psalm 58 Do you, rulers, indeed speak justly? Do you judge people with equity? No. In your heart you devise injustice, and your hands mete out violence on the earth. Even from birth the wicked go astray, from the womb they are wayward, spreading lies. Their venom is like the venom of a snake, like that of a cobra that has stopped its ears, that will not heed the tune of the charmer, however skillful the enchanter may be. Break the teeth in their mouths, O God. Lord, tear out the fangs of those lions. Let them vanish like water that flows away. When they draw the bow, let their arrows fall short. 
May they be like a slug that melts away as it moves along, like a stillborn child that never sees the sun. Before your pots can feel the heat of the thorns, whether they be green or dry, the wicked will be swept away. The righteous will be glad when they are avenged, when they dip their feet in the blood of the wicked. Then people will say, Surely the righteous still are rewarded. Surely there is a God who judges the earth. Proverbs chapter 27 Do not boast about tomorrow, for you do not know what a day may bring. Let someone else praise you, and not your own mouth, an outsider, and not your own lips. Stone is heavy and sand a burden, but a fool's provocation is heavier than both. Anger is cruel and fury overwhelming, but who can stand before jealousy? Better is open rebuke than hidden love. Wounds from a friend can be trusted, but an enemy multiplies kisses. One who is full loathes honey from the comb, but to the hungry even what is bitter tastes sweet. Like a bird that flees its nest is anyone who flees from home. Perfume and incense bring joy to the heart, and the pleasantness of a friend springs from their heartfelt advice. Do not forsake your friend or a friend of your family, and do not go to your relative's house when disaster strikes you. Better a neighbor nearby than a relative far away. Be wise, my son, and bring joy to my heart. Then I can answer anyone who treats me with contempt. The prudent see danger and take refuge, but the simple keep going and pay the penalty. Take the garment of one who puts up security for a stranger. Hold it in pledge if it is done for an outsider. If anyone loudly blesses their neighbor early in the morning, it will be taken as a curse. A quarrelsome wife is like the dripping of a leaky roof in a rainstorm. Restraining her is like restraining the wind or grasping oil with the hand. As iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. The one who guards a fig tree will eat its fruit, and whoever protects their master will be honored. As water reflects the face, so one's life reflects the heart. Death and destruction are never satisfied, and neither are human eyes. The crucible for silver and the furnace for gold but people are tested by their praise. Though you grind a fool in a mortar, grinding them like grain with a pestle, you will not remove their folly from them. Be sure you know the condition of your flocks. Give careful attention to your herds, for riches do not endure forever, and a crown is not secure for all generations. When the hay is removed, a new growth appears, and the grass from the hills is gathered in. The lambs will provide you with clothing, and the goats with the price of a field. You will have plenty of goat's milk to feed your family, and to nourish your female servants. <laughs>